In videos and in the comment sections, anti-feminists often take up the most extreme or the weakest feminist position they can find, or they just straight up misrepresent what the feminist position is. Instead, why not take up the strongest, most robust feminist argument you can find and really challenge yourself? Are there any? Why don't you give some examples? If you are arguing that we should oppose moderate feminists with whom we agree, fuck off half of it. I'm not going to call myself a feminist just because I agree with one idea that one feminist has. And we should focus on the issues that are most threatening and get the most traction. I am deeply concerned with male addiction rates, suicide rates, and abuse rates, because I have worked with these issues in the quote-unquote real world. The only reason to put quotes around the real world, unless you are referring to the phrase like I am now, is if you are not actually talking about the real world. Would you be willing as anti-feminists to put aside your differences with feminists for the greater good of addressing these issues, especially as the kind of solutions needed are not necessarily gendered? And if so, I would actually like you to let me know, because I'm not fucking around or presenting any gotchas here. I actually really think that we could get something done if we work together. So, yeah. Gotcha signaling. To my knowledge, it is mostly feminists that attempt to stop progress. They disrupt events when they focus on men. Just because the solutions are not necessarily gendered doesn't mean that they cannot be, or that giving a male point of view when we are mostly given a female point of view is not valid. I'm not trying to stop feminists from finding solutions, even when they are only trying to find solutions for women. It is better that there are solutions for women only than no solutions for either. But I don't have a proper education for solving the issues you listed, so I will not attempt them instead. I do my best to improve society in the ways to which I am equipped. But it's kind of ironic to ask this in a video featuring Steve Shives. You are aware that so many of you preemptively block the people with opposing views. Blocked. Why is it that this feminist? <laughs> represents all feminists, but this men's rights activist doesn't represent all men's rights activists. Whoa, whoa, wait, sexism all of a sudden? Ladies and men are different? So we're supposed to punch men and not hit ladies and open doors for men on your own, but not but ladies? Fuck you, get out of my face, you tiny piece of shit. Do we know that Trudy Puff is a feminist? And do we know that that man is a men's rights activist? Just because he thinks men and women should be treated as equals does not mean that he is a men's rights activist. And Trigger Puff does not represent all feminists. She just embodies everything stereotypical with third wave feminists. And it is not unreasonable to assume she is one. After all, if she wasn't there specifically to disrupt the event, that was her action when she was there. I have heard that Trigger Puff is a self proclaimed feminist, but for this man there is a lack of context. But it just sounds like he is reacting to sexism. Why am I continually asked to answer for the views of feminists if I agree with feminism's overall aims, but don't agree much with those particular feminists? Does that mean that I can ask you to answer for anybody who labels themselves similarly to you, even if you don't agree much? Are you really? You only need to say that you do not hold those views. Anyone who insists that you answer for those views after that point without providing evidence that you have once hold those views can be ignored. If S is a bad yes, you like super Jews, like Skeptor, the most superb super Jew and best YouTuber I know. If you're not already subscribed to him, go subscribe to him and go to his Patreon and give you money to a greedy Jew. Bad because they spend too much time whining and don't talk about real problems. Then why aren't you talking about those problems instead of just whining about the other people over and over and over for literally years? I mean, in the scale of priorities, that's like even lower, right? You know, you've got the real problems, you've got the things that feminists worry about, and then you've got you going, oh, how, how dare they? Just how dare they have different priorities from me? Why can't they do what I do? Whine about whining forever for a living. That's healthy. Most people don't earn a living, and some have a monetization, commercialization turned up. What we are doing is opposing the movement that is, probably unwittingly, attempting to destroy society for the worse, and our resulting reason, that is, we are working on stopping more real problems from arising. Not everyone has the proper education to be able to tackle all real problems, or any real problems, but at least we are doing what we can to stop new problems from arising.
that we really know what we do to solve existing real problems. Personally, I'm volunteering a few hours per week of my time to help people with their studies. People whose parents are not able to help them, and if no one else did, they would not be properly educated and would remain in poverty. Why don't you seem as concerned with actual feminist theory in academia as you are with wrecking people for views? Feminist academia is unbelievably transparent, so we don't have to put uh, as large focus on them. As for wrecking, it is a way of combining awareness raising with entertainment. It is important that this is done sometimes so people do not become depressed. Blocked. You do understand that reading the title of a book or an article or watching the first 15 seconds of a video is not going to give you a deep, nuanced understanding of what that book or article or video is about, right? That being said, how can you expect to understand or critique feminist sources if you don't even attempt to understand what they're trying to say? Projection. Why is trying and failing to debunk a study into sexual assault the number one priority for a rational thinker now? Doesn't it, does it maybe, maybe say something about your priorities? Does it maybe? Does it, nah, it's fine, it's fine, it's the feminazis, we have to stop them. They're taking away our video games. Yeah, we appear as failing a failed Columbo. The debunking is often pretty rock solid, and sometimes you just use resources that explicitly say that your interpretation is a non sequitur. It's not our number one priority, but the posing regression is the result of logic. That debunking bullshit and fear mongering is important. People should not live in irrational fear, and if you are blowing the problem out of proportion, some people will not think it is a problem. Furthermore, if you make it look like it is a gender issue, collectivists will ignore the gender they are tricked into believing are almost unaffected. Look, Anita, I'm sorry, but we, we, I, I can't, we, we can't actually destroy video games, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs>